Nine wars were fought over land and cattle for nearly 100 years between white colonialists and African people. King Nika, King Sandile and Prince Makoma play a pivotal role defending their land from being possessed by colonialists. The trio is remembered for their sacrifices. We need to acknowledge that that is the contribution of the chiefs, uh, the traditional leaders that were fought fighting for the betterment of the people of the, the Africans in the country. So their struggle indeed was not in vain because some of them uh, as they did fight but today we acknowledge their role we say we appreciate the role that they've played and we want to teach the young ones the other kings and chiefs that were just born recently that do not know the history that they must know that the history of struggling for the freedom or liberation did not start with the politicians but it started long time ago with the kings and the chiefs historians believe african people are still suffering from the consequences of the colonial ruling. When we talk about going back and returning back to the origins, we're not only talking about getting the land back, we talk about getting our minds back through what we call decolonization of our minds. Because to a great extent, the issue of colonial mentality is still very deep-seated. So we need to acknowledge that we need to gain what we call total liberation of the mind in order to be able to manage the liberation of the material resources. The provincial government is engaging with relevant stakeholders to turn the graves of wars of resistance heroes into heritage sites.